I'm going to say it because y'all scary and I'm not scary because I can't get no whooping. People that fake pregnancies deserve the same punishment as Dan and Diddy. Hell. See, with me, you only get one or two miscarriages around me anyways before I start feeling like you couldn't get a baby out of the street if a car was coming. Faking a whole pregnancy for a whole nine months, buying fake be bellies to grow with you as your belly supposedly grow, having not one but two baby showers because your best friend who truly, truly trusts that you are pregnant because she's also pregnant, throw you a second baby shower and then... Here's this, you fix your whole face and have a whole gender reveal party and then afterwards tell people that your baby is going through stuff and suffering with this rare disease. So people are out here just looking for a kidney for your child on Facebook and people are donating money the whole time you are lying is diabolical. And my thing is, I'm worried that this lady was going to cut her best friend's out and take her child out and claim it to be hers because this whole thing is weird and now you're going to have to watch this video because it's too much and I cannot tell you the story. Do something with it. It's just money coming to me easily. Money coming in and needing me. Money coming in repeatedly. Money coming, this is money coming, this is money coming to me frequently. Money coming in to be with me. Money coming in secretly. Money coming, this is money coming, this is money coming. We met last year in a group chat. Everybody else that was in the group chat I already knew personally. I just didn't know her. She was super friendly at first, and I was like, that's kind of iffy. Like, I was iffy about it, for real. And then we found out that her husband that she's married to legally is cousins with my baby daddy, the one that I was pregnant with in these pictures. And her husband just happened to have a little boy on the way also. <clears throat> and... We met on New Year's, we all chilled on New Year's. We got a hotel room, was having like a little party or whatever. I went home early that day because everybody was drinking and I was already 10 weeks pregnant because I found out that I was pregnant the end of November before I even met them. And I already knew what I was having and everything by this point because I found out at eight weeks by sneak peek. A couple days go by, her birthday comes. She goes out for her birthday or whatever. She comes back a month later and She's pregnant, and she's in this to me. It looks so real, because I took a pregnancy test like that before, and it was positive. But that pe pregnancy test was fake. Then, like a month or two later, here comes the gender reveal. I'm not sure who this person is, but this is the person that sent us the gender reveal results. Mind you, I did not know her that well at this time. Like, we just met. So, like, me and her was not close or anything, but... Whoever this was sent the gender to a group of everybody that was supposed to be the gender keepers. And then, here comes the reveal. to pick the gender of your baby like be for real but i think she was mad because i was mad at mine here's mine and this was in december at this gender reveal we was not best friends or anything a couple months later she well actually like a month later she posted on facebook and was like i really wish my son had a god mom and i said what are you doing i'm right here like i could be your son's god mom so then she asked me and i was like yes like i was so excited for this baby and then we became best friends like right after when everybody kept saying y'all are always together y'all are besties so th we was like, okay, let's just be best friends. And then after that, a month went by and we got our maternity shoot done. I paid $400 for these pictures. This was supposed to be so memorable for me and it was not. Like, this is like a nightmare I can't wake up from. I can't even look at these pictures for real. Then a week after these pictures, I had my son. And then a month or two later, she got her car. After she got this car, 
This is when I started coming around a lot and we was always together. Damn near every day after this. She had two baby showers because came to find out she was telling two dudes that they was the dad. I didn't go to the first one, but I went to the second one. I threw the second one and it was fun because we really thought she was pregnant. We, I thought I was about to have a godson for real. And then a month later, she's 40 weeks pregnant. She kept giving us, like, every excuse on why she couldn't be induced and, like, why. Like, it it made sense, though, like, of why. But I kept telling her 42 weeks is, like, a deadline. Like, they would never let you go past 42 weeks. There's no way. So she planned it out to where she had the baby on exactly 42 weeks. October 22nd came. She had her baby. She was on the phone with me on FaceTime acting like she was pushing this baby out, screaming and crying, saying that they took my baby, they took my baby. These look real, but I didn't think nothing about the band on her arm. That's an emergency room bracelet. This was the picture that she was showing everybody. I'm not gonna lie, at first glance, it does look like a real baby and it does look real, but I wasn't like really putting two and two together until like recently. And I just wanted to wait until I had all the proof. Here's another picture that's supposed to be from the NICU camera. It looks so real, so we didn't think nothing of it. And it was a fake picture off of Google. Because she said the baby had kidney problems. She literally had the whole world looking for this baby a kidney. Including myself. And I was going to give my kidney to this baby for real. I was really trying to donate my kidney to a plastic baby doll. So then she said his blood was the rarest type blood that there was and that this is what you needed for a kidney transplant and everybody on facebook was really looking for this baby a kidney for real and it's sad this looks so real like you wouldn't even think like it was fake personally i've never seen this picture she must have sent this to somebody that is a little bit slower than me because i knew that was i would have knew that was fake because you can't even see the baby's face at all. Then a week or two goes by. Her mom takes me to the hospital for my for something that's going on. And after that, she goes home with my son in Jazz's car. And when she accidentally pressed the wrong button, she meant to open the back door because it's a van. And she opened the trunk. And everything fell out. And this is what we found. The fake baby fell out the trunk. She did the feet prints and the hand prints like a real baby would and everything. Like, she really put some thought into this. And her mom was known for a couple of days. And then it came out one day whenever her mom told her baby daddy, like a couple of days after she found out. Because she was like, why are you trying to do all this when, yeah, when the baby's fake? So then they started fighting or whatever, and then they called me, and they was, she, well, she texted me. I'm about to show you guys. They thought I knew, and I was in on this little secret, but I was not. I did not know. I was so confused. And this is when I found out. I started putting the pieces together when I would ask her about Cairo every single day, and she would get less and less, like, talking about him. And I never really seen her, like, go up there. Like, if it's my son up there, I'm going up there all the time. But she always had an excuse why she couldn't go up there or something. I sat in the hospital for five. And she told me not to ask the doctors or anything, no questions or anything, because they kicked her dad out because she's under, like, a no patient rule or something. And um, I believed her. So I didn't ask nobody. I sat up in the hospital for five hours waiting to see a, a baby that I was never going to see in the first place. Here's some messages of me, like, asking about Cairo. Like, I really thought this was so real. This is what she said when I found out. It's really a lot, and... It really messed with my mental health. I just had a baby in July, so I'm already going through postpartum depression. And she was, she went through everything that I went through, and it really messed me up, for real. I feel like she was really laughing at my trauma and everything that I went through. It wasn't fun. It really put me in depression. 
I really feel like whoever she sent this picture to knows because that's a white belly. You could tell she's not pregnant. You could tell it's fake and everything. And as somebody that's been there every day for the last two months, I never noticed that she really was not pregnant. Like, I was, like, pitting pieces together after she had the baby. But before, I'm not going to lie, I didn't know nothing. Like, I was, I really thought I was about to have a godson. I went and got the matching outfit. I really thought my baby was about to have a best friend. And I trusted this girl with my son. Like, what if she was going to kill me and take my baby? Like, this is so scary because, like, it's like a Lifetime movie, for real. And people really be like, oh, maybe she knew. No, I really did not know. I would not support something like this. It's so crazy that nobody really told me no stories about her or anything until after I posted this and let this be known. So I didn't really know how she was before this or anything. I didn't know that she lied about pregnancies before, lied about a car crash, lied about everything. I did not know none of that. And her family did say that she was faking her pregnancy two weeks ago, but nobody thought anything of it. Everybody thought her family was lying, but they was not. They was correct. And this is embarrassing for me. Like, I really went through this.